guys, so um, this video is going to be a little bit different to what I normally do. Um, I'm just going to answer some of the questions that I get about my hair. So I'll zoom you out a little bit, I don't know why you're all zoomed in. So this is my hair. I did straighten it a little bit today. Um, and I'm going to be talking about the colour of my hair because I get an awful lot of questions saying Oh, do you colour your hair? I love the colour of your hair. What colour do you use? Is it coloured? Do you have highlights? All that kind of stuff. So I have done a hair care routine, I think, but I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my hair history and um, kind of what colour is in it, if any, now. So I get a lot of questions about do you colour your hair? As you guys know, I work as a model and I have had my hair coloured before. At the moment, I have had highlights which have grown out quite a bit. I don't know if you can see, actually, if I get a bit of under hair, as I like to call it. Um, I don't know if you can see the line here. So down here is a mixture of my natural colour and the highlight colour, basically. And if anything, what I have done to my hair is I like to keep my hair fairly natural looking and for the kind of work that I do I can't really go from one extreme to the other. If I want my hair cut or trimmed or coloured in anywhere, I kind of have to check with my agency first, that's just how it is. I don't mind it, I like my hair how it is anyway so. Um, and what I have done is I normally have my hair lifted in sort of highlights a couple of shades from my natural colour which is a fairly light ash brown but you can see that this area is kind of darker and it's actually warmer on the ends this warm section is a mixture of my own natural color which is that light ash brown and some kind of highlights in a couple of shades lighter so I don't have blonde highlights put in I have kind of caramelly colors so it just lifts my hair just a little bit so um I hope that I kind of explain that fairly well um, and one of the other things that I have been doing lately and I cannot for the life of me remember the colour of my head but I'm sure I'll be able to write it in the description box for you is because I was using the Moroccan oil it tinged my hair really quite brassy where I'd had the highlights put in so what I have been doing I haven't done it for a little while because I haven't had an issue with it so far but um, I was putting an ash blonde over the highlighted area and just kind of blending it in with my natural colour and what that does is it just takes the brassiness away it doesn't really colour my hair because it's a lighter colour than my hair but anything with an ash brown like an ashy base is going to tone down any kind of warmth that you have in your hair so I have semi highlighted hair they've kind of grown out a little bit and I was using um, an ash blonde just to tone down the brassiness from where I'd had it coloured. So I hope that kind of answers your questions. I will try to put the colour that I was using in the down bar. Um, but my hair is really, I'm trying to grow out my natural colour, although I'm kind of toying with the idea of having some subtle highlights put through it again, because it is getting nice and summery now. So yeah, that's kind of it. That's my hair colour story of late. Um, and I will try and find out the name of the colour that I have been putting on it so that you can go away and dye your hair if you want to. Um, so I hope that was helpful and I hope that answers many of your questions because um, I get that question quite a lot. Um, but most of it is sort of my nat natural colour really. I try and keep in the same tone as my natural colour because I think most often, and this is not always the case, but most often um, we suit what we're born with because it kind of suits our complexion and stuff. So if you are thinking of dyeing your hair, go speak to someone who is a professional first. Um, think about your skin colour and things like that. Think about whether you're going to have to change your eyebrow colour. Things like that will really make a difference. So I hope that was helpful for you. Um, answered your questions and all that kind of stuff. And I hope you're having a lovely day. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.